I think for Duke to win, I, I, I'm going to look at one player kind of as the barometer for both teams. On, on Ooh, okay. If you look at his stats, this will be able to tell you who wins the game or Okay. Not. Oh, wow. Okay. I think. Cedar Brown, Cedar Brown, put it down. <laughs> you found my piece. I know. We just went to school without a struggle. We got to go to school again. Well, y'all got to stop this on Thursday. You know I've been going to class all week. I, have, look, I, can't, I, I can't do three days in a row. <laughs> no, it's, it's hard. I make it easy. I'm, okay. I'm, but I'm, see, I'm, I'm narrowing it down. Y'all got to okay. look at one player. Okay. okay. For Duke, I'm looking at Wendell Carter. Because That's he's going to be the guy. I, f- I feel like he's going to be the guy that determines, for Duke, that determines whether playing with size is going to beat playing with the small perimeter guys for Carolina. <sighs> really? Yes. It, because, I mean, I, I feel like it, this is the reverse of how it's been because Carolina's usually the guy, you know, last year playing with Isaiah Hicks and Kennedy Meeks as as the two big guys, and Jason Tatum came in that game as an undersized four. Got so it. it's I really it. a battle. You're looking at a battle kind of of wills. Whose style is going to win out? Is it going to be the perimeter? Is, is Carolina going to make enough shots to make Duke either, you know, I don't know, play zone or or – or go small, which mm. I don't think they're going to do because Duke is what they are. But um, I think Wendell Carter's number, that's going to tell the story. If he's uh, 15 and 10 tonight or something like mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. I think Duke wins this game fairly easy. If he's, you know, 12 and 4, then I'm thinking Carolina is going to be the team that, that's celebrating. I think it's.